Good afternoon, Finnovate Europe. It's been a day and a half. I've attended quite a few of the talks around here, and here's what I've learned. Banks and financial services are dead. AI, whoa, regulations, oh my god. We should all just pack up our bags. Bergen is that way. But I'm kidding. Um, we all know that things have changed. Your consumers have changed. Their expectations have changed. 85% of them expect personalized services from their banks. Consumers are going to take their business elsewhere if banks don't get their things together. 98% consumers, including me, are tired of the levels of spam. Big tech is right around the corner. They've taken over your consumers' lifestyles. And unless you do something about it, you're going to go down the same way as telecoms have and become a pipe. Now, I know it's easy to feel hopeless in this situation, a little bit lost. Is there a silver bullet to help us fight back? My name is Priyanshu Mishra. I lead product development. The handsome gentleman over here is Vijayanan. He leads our European sales. And we're from Crayon Data, a Singapore-based startup. And we're here to tell you that last year, we generated close to a billion dollars in incremental billings for our clients around the world. And we've done that through our product, Maya.ai. Maya.ai is the world's first and only AI-led personalization lifestyle assistant. And here's how it works. Now. What we try to do is give your customers unparalleled lifestyle experiences across every single lifestyle category. My.ai knows that we're in Berlin, and let's take dining for example, because it's almost lunchtime and we're starting to get a little hungry. What My.ai does is it presents to you four to six neatly organized, extremely personalized recommendations. As you can see, um, the intercontinental is not in there, because that's my data and I really don't like potatoes. There were too many potatoes at lunch yesterday. The, how, now, how do we do this, right? We look at your transaction data, and if you see those little attributes or the little tags over there that define this is a Mediterranean restaurant that's couple-friendly and that's modern, the, uh, we've done this through curating data on about 4 million merchants across the world. We know every single merchant there is. And now, real-time machine learning systems help you interact with every single recommendation. Your likes and your dislikes are recorded in session and it helps you refine your recommendations and your customer engagement journey on the fly in session. Now, let's take travel as the next example. Quite often, your customers spend two weeks to a couple of months planning their travel, and, and you do this by going through multiple different uh, aggregators who then cut into your margins, and it's really unnecessary for customers to do that in the age of AI. With Maya.ai, what we have, once again, is the ability to break down your customers' tastes, understand where they travel, and also why they like to travel to the destinations that they do. In the example you have in front of you, we picked out four to six recommendations that could work for me. I recently went to Bali. I love surfing, I love adventure sports, and so the options that you can see in front of you are destinations known for these particular activities. Let's take South Africa as an example. Now, what I have over here is a bunch of experiences that have been pre-curated and populated within the asset itself. I've also got, wait for it, if you could, Vijay, just go into the details, a completely personalized itinerary available for your customer. You don't need to go to individual aggregators to find out which flights to take, what hotel to stay at, what restaurants to eat at, and what activities to do. You have all of that present in front of you. All the user needs to do is edit it, change their preferences a little bit, because we do agree that no algorithm can be 100% accurate all the time. But with Maya.ai, it's a simple interface. All you need to do is edit the options that you want, and you're ready to check out and go on your travel. It's just as simple as that. Now, all of these capabilities can be plugged out as uh, individual APIs. They can be plugged into your CRM systems, your websites, your mobile apps, your email SMS execution systems, for those of you who still believe in that. Uh, and you can also deliver this to your customers through your concierge services as well. Everything that you see in front of you is API-led, and we replicate the same experience category after category. Now, as an enterprise, you also want to have control over the conversations that you have ongoing with your customers, and for that purpose, we've built Enterprise Studios. So if we could just switch to the laptop view, right. What you have in front of you is the Taste Studio. It allows you to query your customers' tastes at a scale never before seen. Simply select the customers that you're looking to cater to, identify them through either personas or through their um, uh, demographics, 
Go to the next stage, you can look at the tastes that these customers are spending on within every single category, and that's what I mean by taste. Let's say we have Valentine's Day coming around right around the corner, and we want to put together something that's going to help people go out on a date. We quickly select a few attributes, in this case, contemporary cuisine, couple-friendly, and alcohol. Go to the next step, and what we will see in front of us is a set of uh, uh, recommendations in terms of the uh, merchants where you have partnerships as well as the merchants where you do not have partnerships. It takes a little bit of time because you know it takes one million customers as data sets, 100 recommendations per customer that are being queried upon real time in front of you. Just so you know, this is not um, an HTML demo. Uh, typically, this sort of an exercise is going to take your, ca your campaigns team or your analytics team a couple of weeks. You're going to have to reach out to them, tell them, hey, I want to do this campaign. They're going to run their models. And, and that's going to take you two weeks before you can actually get something out there. What you just saw was less than two minutes. right? And now you have a whole bunch of recommendations that you can serve out to your customers, available opportunities, lost opportunities, accurate predictions of the amount of money that this particular campaign is going to get for you. So your portfolio managers just need to look at their weekly, monthly, quarterly targets, piece together opportunities on this portal, and you're good to go. We also have the Commerce Studio, which allows you to identify merchants and the right partnerships for you to onboard, because your customers are looking for very specific incentives on which to spend. You can look at your merchants in terms of their historical performance, the predictive performance that the spends they will generate for you next month, and also the geographical distribution. Finally, we have the Engage Studio, where the entire purpose is campaigns. And you know what? If you don't want to go through all of this hassle of curating and whatnot, we have the AI component of the product as well which is going to put together for you dozens and dozens of campaigns in a matter of minutes. And all you have to do is select the channels, schedule the dates, and you're good to go. So that's Maya.ai for you guys in seven minutes. It's a fairly complicated product, lots of capabilities. We're outside, so do reach out to us and have a chat with us so we can take you through some more details. Thank you.